I forget the names of movies, um, uh, a friend's name, um, sometimes the day of the week. <laughs> 76 year old Barbara Gauthier admits she has senior moments. She's taking part in an Alzheimer's study because if it's something worse, she wants to know. In Alzheimer's, brain changes likely occur at least 10 years before memory loss. Proteins called amyloid and tau are thought to short-circuit communication between nerve cells and destroy brain tissue. Spinal fluid drawn from the back can reveal certain combinations of those proteins typical for the disease. Alzheimer's is a slowly developing disease and it starts out when we're perfectly normal and gradually develops over a period of years and years of time. Today's study in the Archives of Neurology not only found those telltale signs or biomarkers in the spinal fluid of 90% of patients with the disease, they also found them in 72% of those with mild cognitive impairment. And importantly, in 36% of people who appeared normal. We have to go to very early patients who have just the beginnings of Alzheimer's in their brains, and those are the people we need a way to identify to, to test the treatments. And that's why these spinal fluid tests, I think, are going to be extremely important over the next few years. Think of it this way. Detecting Alzheimer's before you have symptoms is like finding high cholesterol before a heart attack. Katie? And John, it seems to me early diagnosis would be really helpful if there were effective treatments. But since there really aren't, what does this mean? Well, it may turn out that there actually are effective treatments, but we don't know it. The very same drugs that we're giving to people who have advanced Alzheimer's, and those drugs seem to be ineffective, maybe if we give them earlier in the disease, really early, before there's a lot of damage in the brain, they may end up being much more effective than we think. That's why it's so important to have early diagnosis using these biomarkers and other tests like that. All right. John LaPoo. John, thanks so much.